Three squeegee kids are now facing theft charges after Baltimore police say they took someone's phone and sent themselves hundreds of dollars. Tonight we're learning one of those suspects was involved in a similar scam two summers ago. Fox 45's Vincent Hill joins us live now with a closer look at cash app scams that are hurting a lot of Baltimore drivers. Vincent. Yeah, Maxine, so it happened in the 1800 block of Dundalk Avenue, and police say they watched the whole thing go down, and one of those suspects, someone they chased before. On Thursday, outside the city squeegee enforcement zone, right at the county line. He's charged, he's currently in the process of doing the same thing. The other two are distracting the driver. Baltimore police giving chase to three squeegee workers. What case? What case? Two serving as a distraction while the other grabbed a driver's phone and stole money using Cash App. A 19-year-old, a 23-year-old, and 21-year-old Deidre Colvin were arrested. Colvin charged with theft after police identified him as the one who took the victim's phone. If the crime or the name sounds familiar, that's because it is. Police say a male driver reported three male squeegee kids snatched his phone and cash apped a large sum of money to themselves. Police spotted the suspects who ran and broke into a basement on Portland Street. Back in 2022, Coven was charged with theft and burglary after he and two other squeegee workers broke into a lady's house after doing the same thing. I looked at the kitchen window and there's a boy going down the basement steps. Police, guns drawn as they chased down the suspects. Policeman comes to my window, this gun pointed, and then I'm just go like this. It was really scary, terrifying, and the unknowns. That incident happening six months after this man was accused of shooting two squeegee workers as another ran away for allegedly taking his mother's phone and cash apping themselves over $2,000. Yeah, remember squeegees? Don't ask us about that anymore. But they're hard to forget. Earlier this week, our cameras captured squeegee workers back inside an enforcement zone at a banned corner based on the Squeegee Collaborative. And according to court records, Colvin was actually released last month for those 2022 charges, and he's currently out of jail for these charges earlier this week. Meanwhile, Baltimore police are asking people that have Cash App to lock it with a passcode. For now, we're live in Baltimore, Vincent Hill, Fox 45 News.